this is how it's worked out on the velvet. I am absolutely in love with it. It is so soft. So it's kind of hard to show on the velvet. And really, if you're not, maybe if you're a really good beginner, maybe I'm just a, maybe I was just a terrible beginner. Um, this would have been very hard for me to do as a beginner. But I'm going to show you how to do this stitch on a different yarn that will be easier to see and easier to follow along. So the yarn I'm going to use for this uh, is Impeccable Yarn. Um, I don't know the exact, uh, it's just a scrap that I have, a little scrap ball that I have that I'm going to work with today. And that's really just to show you guys uh, how the stitch works. Now, uh, also please excuse the shape of my hands. Uh, it's time for a new set, so I, I decided to take them off tonight since I've got to do a lot of cooking for Thanksgiving tomorrow. And there was no need to uh, put on a new set before I'm gonna spend all day in the kitchen cooking and doing dishes and just better to give my nails a breather for a couple days instead. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. I have 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. You start off with this foundation in an odd number. So I have done 21 here. Um, our first step is to work a double crochet into the second one from the hook. So one, two, we're gonna work a double crochet into that. Then we're gonna continue working double crochets all the way back. We do a foundation row, a foundation chain. Then our first row is double crochets, and then we crochet back with single crochets, and then we'll start the, the real meaty part of the pattern. So we're just doing double crochets all the way across. Okay, we're almost to the end. Last couple double crochet. This impeccable yarn is very squeaky, I've noticed. Very noisy. I like it, but it is a very noisy yarn. Now we're gonna chain up one turn and we're going to start doing single crochets all the way back. And you can fast forward if you don't wanna listen to my yarn squeak single chains all the way across. <laughs> and as always, the first couple rows are gonna be a little funky to maneuver. Oh, are gonna be a little funky to maneuver. start the beginning of this pattern. Well, the real beginning of this pattern. Chain up three, flip it over. Now, this counts as this chain up, and this is the first chain, the first stitch we're gonna work with, right here. This is the first we're gonna work with. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna loop over twice. We're gonna go behind this post. We're gonna yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through. We're gonna yarn over. We're gonna go through this stitch here. And do a double. We're gonna yarn over twice for a treble. We're gonna go behind that post. 
Yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through. Now we yarn over, double crochet in the top of the next one. Squeak along. Now again, this double crochet belongs with this post. And then we're going to yarn over twice and go behind the next post over. So you can already start to see that little bit of a pattern starting. Now we yarn over, go through the top of the next post, yarn over twice. We skip this one and we go into this next one. Again, it's always awkward on that first couple of rows until you get the blanket built up a little bit. All right, so. This one went in front of this one. We're gonna double into the next one. That double crochet, companion with that one. Yarn over twice and go under the following, or behind the following post. Yarn over. Top of the next post. Right. Loop over twice. Behind that post. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through. Double crochet in the next. Yarn over twice. Skip. Behind the post. Another treble. Now another double in the very next post. Now triple. A treble. And double. Once we get further into the pattern, it's much easier to, um, to see where everything goes. So as the first row is a little bit more difficult. Now we're gonna double crochet. Now we're going to chain up one, we're gonna flip it, and we're just gonna work single crochet. Look into the second one, and we're just gonna put in single crochets all the way along that row. And this is gonna be the in-between for each row is a row of single crochet across. Okay, we're on this last stitch. Single crochet, chain three, flip. I'm gonna put a double crochet right in there. You can see that's the very next stitch, double crochet. Now for the next one, we're going to loop twice and we're going to go, we wanna scooch behind these two that are puffed out and go behind that post. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. Now, and just trust me, it'll work out if you're not seeing it, just follow along. Double crochet in the next stitch. Then we're going to go over twice and we're gonna go behind this one here. And we're gonna double crochet into the next stitch, which goes with that companion. It's a lot easier to see on this row now than it was the, the previous one when we were doing this. So that's gonna stay on that one. We're gonna go over twice. We're gonna go behind 
the one that's sticking down and pull that one forward. Then we do a double crochet into the next stitch. Again, so sorry about the squeaks. Triple into, triple behind, again, that's this one. Goes with this one that's already sticking out. Triple behind the next one that's behind posts. So now we're gonna do a double right here into the top of the next stitch. It's a double. So next we do a treble behind the post of the one that we didn't do in the last round. It's the one that's sticking in the back a little bit, but behind the other two stitches. Now we do a double in the next stitch. And we do a treble behind the next post. Skipping over the one that we that was puffed out. So we're basically working a front post in every other post on the bottom. And you'll know because you're going behind the one that is pushed back, not one of the ones that's been pulled forward in the last round. So now we do a double on top of this. And we do a treble behind this. Just gonna do another double crochet into the top. That's the pattern. I'm gonna continue to work on the pattern in this yarn. It works out pretty quick, especially with the velvet yarn. All right guys, so I'm gonna continue to work on this blanket and um, have to have it done by Christmas, <laughs> hopefully. Fingers crossed. Um, if you have any questions or comments, suggestions, requests, anything, leave them down in the comments.